question I have for you is, you're no, you're no stranger to the, the, the heartfelt kind of shows, movies, that kind of thing. Um, how does this differ compared to some of those other ones you've done? Um, you know, some, you know, so many times you kind of, in a lot of those movies, you kind of like, it's kind of like, kind of like doing the movie Titanic. You know the boat's going down. We kind of know the ending. And there's, there's, some, there's a lot more predictability, I think, in that than what the writers did here. Um, with a big ensemble like this and this opportunity to dive into, you know, from the, from the from, I call them my kids because I play their dad, to dive into the kids' storylines in high school and see some of those hurdles and relive that. For, for guys our age, it's kind of nice to be like, oh, I remember that moment or I had that with, with you know, my first dance with this girl. And it's nice to kind of start to, with innocence and watch these guys go through that. You know, someone 12 or 13 can watch this and your grandparents can watch this and everything in between. And I think it has something to offer to that's entertaining for all. Absolutely. And like you said, playing the father, you're, you're not only playing the father of a couple of kids, you're playing the father of like 10. What is that like? And is it, was you, were you actually like a dad for all those kids? Yeah, I, I, you know, that's a question for them, whether if I was a dad to them or not. Um, like I said, I tried to be, but they were, they were already off to such a good start that I think it was best if I just shut up in that. And to have one of our first scenes, like we're in a kitchen with, t you're feeding 10 people and it's just chaos. And I just, I know what that's like kind of at my house, even though I don't have that many kids. It was still like, um, they did such a great job both in staging the cast and the crew and our directors of staging those moments to make that feel authentic because anyone with kids and big families like you know what those moments are like and what I tried to take home with that was that ability to call cut and run to my trailer but that didn't work and my, my wife wasn't having that didn't quite work in our house <laughs> you know what I'm gonna let you go because I know they're trying to get people going here so I, I do want to thank you for your time and uh, great premiere yeah no I really appreciate it. we're having a great time we're having a great time here up in Calgary and we're really hoping we get a shot to continue it's a great place to be I hope so too hope to see you back all right thanks Nikki, Noah, Ashby, thanks for joining Talent Talk today. I got just a couple questions for you. Chemistry for you guys seems pretty natural. Did that come off right off the start, or did it take a while to get up? I think we all got along with each other immediately, which is like a dream come true um, for a project like this. I mean, I couldn't have imagined doing it with like two of the best people in the world. So I, I'm just so grateful for them. They're so wonderful. I mean, look at their faces. <laughs> But it was really easy right away. And so, uh, yeah, I mean, the best case scenario. Nice. Brothers, rivalry a little bit on set. Any rivalry off set? I, I, I comp no, <laughs> like, not at all. I'm such a fan. I'm such a fan of him. I actually debated starting the Noah Lalonde's fan Instagram before anybody else did because I was like, I want access to all of the, like, hidden gems. Um, no, I, like... Both of these people are phenomenal to work with, and they're my family, and they're my closest friends on screen and off screen. And um, and I only I only wish them all the success in the world because, in my view, a win for them is a win for me. So yeah. My second question is how each of you is it a little bit of each of you in your characters, and what what would you say is the most prominent feature? Yeah, I, I would say just having lived a life that was was very molded by athletics the you know the good the bad the learning responsibility learning discipline learning teamwork like learning that nothing is accomplished with with just me right in this case these people i mean so many people here and i'm so happy to see it finally coming and that's that's the biggest thing is like learning to acknowledge that growing up and knowing that cole needed to acknowledge that at some point whether or not he does well you got to watch the show to find out but I would say for me, it's definitely the driven, overachiever, perfectionist side, um, which is uh, a blessing and a curse, definitely. I think uh, <clears throat> the part of Alex that's uh, <clears throat> the most prominent, I guess, about myself is I think his care. I think uh, the way Alex shows care and exhibits care and possesses care is the same care that I have for the world and the people that are in it that I love. and. Um, that was the 
that was all I had to use. You know, that was my only weapon in this show. And so I wielded it to the best of my ability. And all of that part of him is, uh, is me. Now, I know you guys have worked with horses during the show as well. Is this the kind of the first time you guys have worked with horses before? Or are you guys all kind of familiar? Or? I, 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 I've been on a horse once, and I was violently bucked off of a horse just before going on into an interstate. Go to your room. All of you. Dad, to I told you not to interrupt right the interview. <laughs> No, I, um, yeah, it was a traumatic experience when I was like a young kid. I fell off of a horse that was, my parents were screaming and crying. It was really, so being here and having another chance to get back on a horse was, uh, was like redemption hour. So it was, it was really cool. Yeah, I mean, I, I spent a ton of time on horseback. Uh, John Scott, shout out to John Scott. Everybody in Calgary knows, jo see, he's nodding. He knows John Scott. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a, a giant double take just occurred. Um, yeah, he taught us everything, and uh, I was fortunate enough to go to the Stampede with him, and uh, he explained every single event in the rodeo to me. Um, Mark and Bailey, my two horse wranglers, our two horse wranglers, we, uh, I spent a ton of time with them, as much time as possible. When I wasn't shooting, I was trying to be on horseback, and, um, and it was all thanks to my BFF Copper, uh, the, the horse that you see in the show who plays Murphy. He's got a personality of his own. It is bigger than the personality that I have on screen and off screen, and uh, I'm, really, uh, I'm really grateful for him uh, for keeping me safe and not throwing me off, which I'm sure he would have liked to do many times. <laughs> well, I'll let you guys carry on here, but thank you so much for talking to me, and hopefully we'll see you for season two. Yeah, thank, thank you. Thank you so much. I'll make you.